Okay, so for this tutorial, I'm going to be using line band tribu yarn and a 4mm hook. You could use any yarn of your choice and the recommended hook size for that yarn. And you're going to need the scissors and yeah, let's get into it. I'm going to be showing you how to create this shell square. So you grab a yarn and then you create a slip knot by wrapping it around your finger like so and then grabbing the under loop and then tighten, pull, slide it down and now we're gonna create three, no, four chains. One, two, three, four. And now we're gonna slip stitch into the first chain from the beginning. Okay, so now we're gonna chain four. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to double crochet into the loop. So this will be your first V. And this means that it's one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet. So that first four chains represents one double crochet and chain one. And now we're going to do a corner. So a chain two and then double crochet again, starting off another V. And now we're going to chain one and then double crochet again. So that's another V, two Vs so far, separated by two chains. So now we're gonna do two chains again. And then chain two, and then double crochet, starting another V. And then chain one, and then double crochet. So that's three V's. So now we're going to create the last one. So chain two and then create a double crochet and then chain one and then create another double crochet. So now we're going to chain one and then we're going to go into the third chain so one, two, three, and then create a single crochet, like so. You don't have to do it tight. And then you chain one, and then into that same space, same space, you're going to create a single crochet, because that is a corner uh, for the time being. So create a single crochet, and now we're going to create seven double crochets into this chain one space. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So on top of one V, we create seven double crochets. So that will count as a shell. So now into the chain two space, we're gonna create a single crochet. So we're gonna double crochet again into the next chain one space on top of the next V, like so, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven. Now we're going to go into chain two space and create a single crochet just like before. And then you continue just like that all the way to the end of your row to create more, another seven double crochets into the chain one space. single crochet into the chain two space and into the last chain one space we're going to create seven more double crochets so that that's a total of four shells 
right? And I'll show you guys what to do when we reach the end of the row. This is row two. Okay, so now that we reach the end, we're gonna take a look and we're gonna slip stitch into the first single crochet from the beginning of the round. Yeah? Okay, so now that you see that, how it looks like that, we're going to create corners where the single crochets are. So this is just the foundation we've created. And now I'm going to show you how to create the following rows. So as you can see, the corners are on top of the single crochets and not on top of the shells. So let's, let me show you what's how we do it. Okay, so we're going to continue where we left off and we're going to chain four. One, two, three four and then we're going to double crochet into the same space where this chain four came from and that will count as your first v stitch of a corner and we're going to complete this when you reach back around so now we're going to chain five so one two three four five and now we're going to skip this whole seven double crochet shell and then go into the chain, I mean the single crochet stitch. So we're going to double crochet and create a V stitch. So double crochet, double crochet again. So that will be one V stitch. And now we're going to separate it by a chain two. And this will be a corner. So we're going to chain two and create another v-stitch in that same space so double crochet chain one chain one then double crochet again all into that one single crochet space so that looks like a corner right now so now let's continue creating our chain fives so one two three four five and then we're going to create that same thing v stitch chain two v stitch so double crochet chain one double crochet into the into the single crochet stitch and then chain two a corner and then double crochet again chain one then double crochet all into that same single crochet stitch. So that's two corners you have there. So we're going to repeat that all the way around. So chain five. Then V stitch. Chain two, V stitch all into that single crochet space. So that's our third corner. Now we're gonna reach back to the beginning and we're gonna finish the last corner. So chain five, and then double crochet, and then double crochet into that same space where the, you, begin, you began the row from. So double crochet, chain one, then double crochet again so that's your second V of the corner and now we're gonna single crochet once and then count your stitches so count one two three and then go into that third stitch and create a single crochet so that will finish off your corner so that's the end of round three Okay, so we're going to chain one and then single crochet into that same corner space that you just completed. 
and now we're gonna double crochet seven times into the first V stitch so that's one two three four five six seven double crochet so that's your first shell and now we're gonna take a look at it and we're gonna single crochet into the fourth stitch so one two three four we're gonna single crochet into there while also catching that chain five around it and hiding it and now we're gonna create another shell seven double crochet shell into the next V stitch so that's two three four five six seven and now we're just gonna single crochet into that corner two chain two space and now we're gonna create a neck shell four with seven double crochets and now we're gonna go into four stitch so one two three four and then create a single crochet around your chain five as well catching it and hiding it and now we're going to create another shell just like before a seven double crochet shell into that first v stitch and remember your v stitch is a double crochet chain one double crochet and then you will create a single crochet into the chain two space of the corner corner and just like that, you're gonna repeat all the way around till you reach the very end of the row. And I'll meet you back once we reach the end. Okay, so now that we reach the end and you have your last shell to complete, you're gonna double crochet seven times into that V stitch, that last, last V stitch. And now we're just gonna take a look at your first single crochet from the beginning of the round and you're gonna slip stitch into there. And that's the end of row four, round four. So now we're gonna go on to round five. So you're gonna chain four, just like before, and then double crochet into that same stitch where your chain four came from and this is your first V stitch and we will complete it when we reach the end of the round so you're gonna chain five one two three four five and then we're gonna skip the shell and then create a V stitch into your side single crochet so a V stitch again is double crochet chain one and double crochet so since this is not a corner you don't create it like a corner so you just leave it as one V stitch so you continue with your chain five and then skip your next shell and now we reach to a corner so we're gonna create a V stitch separate it by a chain two and then a next V stitch so double crochet chain one double crochet and then chain two and then double crochet chain one double crochet all into that single crochet stitch at the corner now we're gonna chain five one two three four And now we reach to the side again so we're gonna create only one V stitch so that's double crochet chain one double crochet and now we're gonna chain five just like before and then we're gonna we're reaching our next corner so we're gonna create V stitch chain two V stitch so that's double crochet chain one double crochet chain two double crochet chain one double crochet all into that single crochet stitch at the corner 
and we're gonna continue in this way all the way to the end of the round until we reach back to the beginning to finish off that last corner so now that we just finished our last side v-stitch and our chain five stitches we're gonna create our last v-stitch into that same place where we began from so double crochet so double crochet chain one double crochet all into that same single crochet stitch from the beginning of the round and you could slide it down a little bit now we're going to chain one then count one two three and then single crochet into the third stitch from the beginning of the round right so that's the end of round that's the end of round five yes now we're gonna chain one and then single crochet into that same corner corner space and now we're gonna create a shell of seven double crochets into the first V stitch just like before and now we're going to count one two three four and then go into that fourth stitch of your shell and then create a single crochet around your chain five as well and now we're going to create another shell into the side just one shell of seven double crochets just like so and now we're going to single crochet again into the fourth stitch so one two three four go into that fourth stitch create a single crochet around your chain five and now create another shell stitch into that V stitch at the corner into the chain two space we're gonna create another single crochet so you're gonna double crochet seven times just like before to create a shell and now we're gonna count one two three four stitches go into that fourth stitch and create a single crochet around your five chains as well and then create another shell of seven double crochets into your V stitch so we're gonna continue like that all the way around to the end of the row so now that we reach the end of the row and you finish your last seven double crochets you're gonna slip stitch into the single crochet stitch from the beginning of the round and that's it and for following rows you will continue in the same way making sure that your corners are made with a v-stitch chain to v-stitch and then your sides would be only one v-stitch and i hope you understand and if you have anything you would like to say or how i can improve on anything please leave it in the comments sections below that would be very helpful and help my channel to grow Thank you so much for watching. Till next time. Bye-bye.